Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial from the Apex Predator Billiards Club. My name is Apex Selenia and in today's video tutorial, we're going to be exposing yet another kick system, a very reliable and non-numerical system that you can use to get yourselves out of, whether it be a very complicated safety or it be a very simple safety. Now, the name of this system is known as the Trapezium Kick Shot System. At least that's what I call it, but it's more well known in the older version as being the seventh pocket kick system. I'm going to be placing a link in the description for a video in which I use this system to be very successful in running out a rack and winning a match. And of course, there's a link right here in the cards for you where you can actually click on that link and get access to that video very reliable system and i'm going to be explaining to you why it's called the trapezium kick how we use this system and how effective it can be on a pool table of course this system is used mainly for one reel kicks and it's most effective on a half table but it's also very useful when you're kicking on a full table so of course if this is the first time here on the channel apex Selenium is of course the person who exposes you to so many different systems for kicking and that you can actually win more rocks by getting yourselves out of safeties so without further ado smash that subscribe button below turn on your post notification bell consider dropping a like and do not forget to share my content to your pool communities families friends and let's add some more power to our kick game let's get it let's go all right guys so let's talk about why is it that i call it the trapezium kick shot as you can see here i have a setup labeled up well i have a setup structured on the table here and for those who do not know what a trapezium is it's of course a mathematical shape i'm gonna post it right here on the screen for you right and that is what the trapezium actually looks like so i have that set up here the trapezium is basically a very simple shape that consists of two parallel lines okay so this is the parallel line running from the cue ball to the rail to which you're aiming at and from the object ball from which you're aiming to to the rail that you're aiming at and of course it has a baseline which is the rail running from the two right angles here and it has this diagonal line here all right and that's what the trapezium is now the ability for you to actually visualize the fact that the trapezium kick shot is to your advantage is whenever the cue ball and the in the same line on the table say for example let's get this out of the way say that we were here then that would not necessarily be a trapezium kick because this would just be a distance behind the object ball like a distance from in front of the object ball then it tends to create that sort of trapezium shape here so, here. so that would be a very shorter line leading to the rail here and to there and that's how basically the trapezium is created on the table so the purpose of reusing is actually for you to really get yourself out of a safety where let's say for example we have our cue ball here all right and we have a blocker ball here and we have the seven ball let's just get these instruments out of the way all right so say for example now uh, i'm playing a game right and it so happens that i have to make contact with the seven to avoid ball in hand there are a couple of different routes available but the purpose of this video is to show you how to kick one rail using this particular system to make contact with the object ball which in this case is seven so we're going to be doing a couple of examples here and here is how the system really works so the first thing that we want to do and you can do the measurement in two different ways you can make the measurement from the object ball and you can also make the measurement from the cue ball my personal preference make the measurement from the object ball so here for example what i'm going to be doing here's a here's a process of the system first i determine the imaginary line that is leading from my seven the object ball here 
towards the rail all right and then uh you're gonna just kind of pivot in between the and try to find the midpoint between the cue ball and the, in there all right so i find the line here i pivot find the midpoint in between these two and then what i do here is that i just simply parallel shift over all right, all right? be careful of how you're parallel shifting all right and then what that does for me now is that it gives me a really nice reference to which i need to aim at the rail so i don't have to use any numbers so if i were to aim at that spot that's just slightly in front of the third diamond on that rail i should be able to make a nice contact with the seven ball so let's try it here And that's really nice i make nice contact with the seven and i avoid ball in hand now one of the things that i like about the system is that it allows you to hit a certain side of the object well of course you know that on the professional the top echelon level the pros do not just kick at an object ball but they tend to try to hit at a certain side so with this system and the very simple measurement then you can actually make your reference from the left edge you can make your reference towards the dead center of the object ball and you can even make your reference from the right edge of the object ball so that's what i really like about this system all right so that's example number one let's have another object ball up here all right let's put our cue ball up here this time all right let's say that we wanted to make contact with the two okay so the system again say for example i want to perhaps hit the left side of the two i don't just want to hit in the hole into the two i want to hit the left side so rather than having my imaginary line being drawn from the rail to which i'm aiming at towards the dead center of the two i'm going to make my reference to the left edge of the two here so i want the cue ball to hit the left side of the two and potentially pocketing the two ball into the corner so here i make reference to this edge here okay to the left edge i'll then pivot my cue all right let's do that again i think i slipped guys okay left edge of the two i'm gonna pivot and try to find an estimated midpoint between the cue ball and my object ball which i'm aiming at and i feel like that's about my midpoint here i think Let's kind of feel it out. I'm thinking that maybe that's a good midpoint reference. All right, so I'm going to stick with that for now. And then I'm going to parallel shift, okay? Be careful how you parallel shift, guys. Hold the cue, the both end of the cue with two hands. And parallel come over like that. Just keep it very steady, guys. You may look a little bit awkward on the table doing this, but I'm going to show you in the latter part of the video how easy you can actually do this um measurement without looking a bit awkward on the table so i'm gonna stick with that as my reference here all right and let's see how this looks one real key at the two it's really nice guys you can see that i hit exactly where i wanted to hit on the left side of the two sending the object ball potentially towards a pocket that i'm aiming at that's really nice so that's example number two there let's have a look now at another example let's say that we are blocked here by the three all right and let's say that potentially we wanted to really kick this say for example this three ball into the corner we can definitely ha have a good chance of making this so what i also like to do guys is sometimes i like to go around here and imagine where on the three i'd like to hit to make the three ball into the corner okay so i know that the point at which i'm aiming at all right so i know that i need to just hit just off full not just slightly to the left edge of the three beautiful i will then pivot around and i'll try to estimate a midpoint between the three ball and the cue ball so that's for me that's just about correct i'll work with that i'm going to then raise my cue i'm going to pivot i'm going to come over like this okay and i think that's my reference point all right so i'm just going to move this ball out of the way a little bit here 
imagine that the one door was not there and then I'm gonna use that as my reference point so here we go and let's try to see if we can make the three go out here all right I did make a nice contact on the three I actually hit the three on the right side but sometimes what it does for you is that it gives you a better opportunity of making uh, a guaranteed contact and if you are measure if your measurement is absolutely precise then you're able to hit the exact side of the object ball that you would like successful attempts here for the other three examples all i'm going to be doing guys is just showing you how it is that you can actually make contact with the object ball without looking a little bit awkward on the table of course if this is the first time you're seeing the system then you want to definitely um put some time in on the table get used to how the feel works and then you're gonna find yourself going through the aiming system or the aiming method quite quickly all right again a link is in the description below for a video that i did and i caught myself on camera using the seven pocket kicking system to actually make an object ball so have a look at it here i'm gonna leave a card right up here for you and a link is in the description so here we go in the following examples i'm just gonna not i'm not gonna talk to you i'm just gonna just show you how i measure it really quickly and to make contact here we go Here you have it guys, very very simple system, very reliable system that you can use to get yourselves out of some complicated snooker. First example, made contact with my object ball. Second example, I was actually kicking from distance. It's a bit difficult when you're kicking with a wide, but I was able to successfully kick that object ball into the corner. Third, I took the measurement, not from the object ball, but from the cue ball so it's a very reliable system all right so hope you guys enjoyed that video add some of those principles to your game get out of complicated safeties and add some more power to your game okay so until next time this is apex 7 signing out do not forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time in another video tutorial peace